Yes, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Warzone Jones coming right back at you pro wrestling related topic video. And I just got through watching Hell in a Cell. This was a pretty damn good pay per view. The main event definitely delivered Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar. Delivered, it was said to be their final match. That's what they say, but it definitely was great. So if that is their final match, I got to say, that was a good grand finale between Brock Lesnar versus The Undertaker. We also had another match that was in uh, Hell in a Cell with Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt. Another pretty damn good match. This match was actually way better than I thought it was going to be. So I would definitely say that the two Hell in a Cell matches is well worth you know, your attention to watch this pay-per-view, especially the main event. Now, as far as, as the other matches, you know, I'm going to get to know the other matches some mentioned. Um, the other matches were, you no, know, they were all pretty damn decent. You know, Undertaker, let me see not Undertaker, uh, the Dudley Boys versus the New Day. You know, I was, I was sort of feeling that, that maybe the Dudley Boys was going to win, but no, the Dudley Boys lost to the New Day. You know, they, they, they had a, you know, a pretty decent match. Um, the match between, uh, what, what's that, what's that dude name? The Feed Me More guy, I can't think of his name. I'm not really a big fan of his anyway. Um, uh, you know, his, his match versus Kevin Owens, that match was, uh, you know, it was, it, was, it was short. It was it was a really, uh, like, short, quick match. Not boring or anything, but it was really, really short. Um, also, the, you know, the, in the beginning, you know, John Cena versus a surprise returning Alberto Del Rio. Like, I, I didn't hear anything about Alberto Del Rio signing a contract with the WWE. And not only did this guy come back, he come back big and he come back with a win. He is the new United States champion of the world, Alberto Del Rio. So I wasn't expecting that because you no, know, I, I never heard anything about him coming you know, to the WWE. So I don't know if you have, but I, I definitely have it. So I was really, really surprised about that. Um, they had a pretty good, pretty good match too. So Alberto Del Rio back in the WWE and he is the new United States champion, of course. And then you had, of course, Charlotte versus one of the Bellas. Can't remember which one it was, either Nikki or Brie. Doesn't matter, but Charlotte wins. She is still the uh, women's champion or the Divas champion, if you want to call it that, <laughs> whatever. But um, like I said, no, this pay-per-view, man, if you if you was like me, like you wasn't really really that much interested in the, in any of the other matches. Like me personally, I wasn't really that interested in any of the other matches. I just wanted to see Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar. That was the only match that I really wanted to see. You know, like the match between Kane and Seth Rollins, I didn't really care about that at all. I did not like that build up. But uh, Seth Rollins won, of course. But I didn't care about that match at all. I actually thought they was going to put that in the hell in a cell, but they didn't. And it's a good thing that they... Ugh, I'm stuttering. It's a good thing that they didn't because that would have been a waste. They had a pretty like standard average match, but hey, what can I say? No average match, nothing worth bragging about. Trust me, Dale. Hopefully that feud ends. But the match between Bray Wyatt and Roman Reigns, like I said, this match was surprisingly good. Well, I shouldn't say surprisingly good because both guys are talented. Um, it was just better than what I thought it was gonna be. And like I said, like. This was one of those matches that I wasn't really that much interested in seeing, but I am glad that I saw it because they had a pretty damn good Hell in a Cell battle. The table spots in this match I thought were very good. The kendo stick spots, especially by Roman Reigns, man, he's swinging those uh, you know, those kendo sticks real recklessly. Like I thought it was kind of funny when Bray Wyatt tried to get in the ring head first and he just hits him right in the head um, with that kendo stick. So these guys had a pretty good Hell in a Cell match. I liked that match. Very good action. But the best Hell in a Cell match was between Tanker and Lesnar. Tanker and Lesnar tore the house down. Hell, one of them tore the ring. You know, they literally tore the middle of the ring. Brock Lesnar tears the mat from the ring. And I've never seen that before. Like, I don't think I've ever really seen a, a person, like, just tear, like, tear the mat like that. Um, in, like, in a wrestling match. Especially in a Hell in a Cell match. And... You know, when he when he tore the mat, you know you, you see wood. You know you, 
you see hard wood there. So, of course, they're going to slam somebody there. And we got a couple of slams there on that wood. You know, Tanker had got um, hit Brock Lesnar with a choke slam there. And he also hit him with a tombstone, uh, tombstone there. And uh, Brock Lesnar hits him with the F5 there. So, this match definitely delivered. I'm glad I saw it. You know, Brock Lesnar um, was busted over. Busted open like about probably five minutes into the match, maybe. And there was a part of that match that I really didn't like. A guy was trying to come in and clean the blood off their faces. It's a hell and a cell match. Are you kidding me? Like, you're gonna do something like that? Don't get me wrong, it didn't take away from the match, but I really did thought that was stupid. And even though the WWE is PG right now, come on, it's a hell and a cell match. So what if you're PG? Like, just look at that name in general, Hell in a Cell. Does that sound PG? So I, I, I really did thought that was kind of stupid, but it didn't take away from the match at all because this was a very good match. Hell, it might even be considered to be a classic match. So definitely one of the better Hell in a Cell matches I've seen between the two. Brock Lesnar, you know, he's landing those suplexes. Suplex City, bitch, as he would say. So Brock Lesnar finished... The Undertaker, he beats him. He pins him one, two, three after he hits him with the F5, of course. So, after Lesnar wins, he rolls out the ring. He leaves right behind the curtain. Undertaker takes him a while to get up. He gets up, and you think it's going gonna, it's gonna to end with the Undertaker just basically like bowing out. But no, the lights hit, and all of a sudden you hear Bray Wyatt's music. The Wyatt family comes out. What do they do? They attack the Undertaker, they jump him, they beat him down, and then what do they do? They carry him out of the ring. So it looks like we're gonna get a Bray Wyatt versus Undertaker feud, or the Wyatt family versus Undertaker feud. Whatever, doesn't matter. So it looks like the Undertaker isn't retiring because of the way this show had ended. So I am interested to see what they're gonna do with those guys. So. This pay-per-view was definitely good, especially for those two matches, those two Hell in a Cell matches, Tanker versus uh, Tanker versus Brock Lesnar, and then, of course, Bray Wyatt versus Roman Reigns. So, if you haven't done so, please, subscribe to my channel, and I'm out. Deuce.